So what you're looking at here is uh, first the new basement walls and the support beams being uh, hoisted up in the air. Uh, that's the next phase. Sorry, I really can't give you much further of a detail than this because it's quite foggy out. It's eight o'clock on a nice warm fall day. So just wanted to say that first before we got into our med talk. That's right, this is a PowerPoint presentation. I'm your host, Christian Goth here. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I wanted to do two things, explain the importance behind this new building, and second, Giving Tuesday, AKA you donating towards this new building. Now, you might be asking yourself, um, why should I care about this new building? Well, because. Now, Camus New York, of course, is gonna ben benefit greatly from this new building, and so are all the guests that are coming on site for festivals and retreats. Now, as you can see here, the temple is really big. It fits about 750 people in the main meditation room. And if we get a little bit clever, we could stretch that to about 1200. If, for example, we have like a Kadampa International Festival here. Uh, but the real question is, where do all these people stay? We have this big festival, hundreds of people, where do they all stay? Well, um, mostly not here. Mostly things like Airbnb in the local area, or this really low res picture of a hotel in Matamoros. This is where most people have to plan to stay uh, in order to come to retreats. So uh, if they're lucky enough, well, then they get to have the choices between our dormitories, which at the moment we have three of them, holding up to 12 bunks each. Uh, better option would be our shared rooms, which we have two. They fit up to six people per, so there's 12 spots. So a little bit nicer, but uh, obviously the thing that everyone's going for is our single rooms, which are really nice and spacious and also sell out within the first five minutes of registration opening for any event. So we only have maybe five of them at best. So we definitely need more. And yeah, we can have as much camping as we want because we have 82 acres of land. And when it's a beautiful day like this, no problem at all. But uh, as you saw earlier, it can just change on, on a dime. It's raining, it's cold, it's wet. And surprisingly enough, some of you don't like camping, which I find it strange. I mean, why are you afraid a little bit of rain at came to New York? To each their own. Don't, you know, I won't judge. But I do want to say for those who are brave enough to camp, we do have this little section, which is a bunch of uh, bathroom facilities, toilets and showers. And also up here, we have a little laundry room for campers to do laundry. Uh, at the moment, we don't have this. We just have all the other houses on the property, which easily get, you know, occupied by people who are staying on site, you know, the comfy uh, indoor people get to use the bathrooms first. So now speaking of lucky indoor guests, there's now going to be more of them. So there's going to be 15 additional private rooms that are going to be added to this building, two of which are um, ADA accessible in the basement and all of this on the second floor. And there's about uh, 15 in total. Um, as Zengmo mentioned in the last video, there's about six or so that are Jack and Jill bathrooms shared between two rooms and the rest are en suite. So this will greatly increase the amount of people who can stay on site for retreats and festivals and not have to worry about which Airbnb are they gonna uh, pay to stay at and how far the drive is or same with hotels. But also a great thing to think about too is now that that money that goes into your accommodations and travel go into the temple. So the temple benefits from you staying on site, of course. Now, another thing to consider is how limited we are by our dining room, which currently only fits about maybe 40 people. And then also the big thing too is our very crammed kitchen in the main house, which at the moment can only cook up to meals for 250 people. Uh, anything more than that, we've had to outsource a commercial kitchen, usually three miles off site in order to cook for those people. And also once we're done cooking for them, we have to go in our pot washing station, which is outside of the main house. So we have volunteers use this outdoor sink to clean pots. And hey, in case it rains, you know, we have this corrugated plastic thing uh, up at the top. So as you can see, after looking at our current jerry-rigged system, it's clear 
that having a dining room that can fit up to 180 people in a commercial kitchen that can feed 1200 people, it's clear that Keynes New York really needs something like this. So now, this is all just phase one. That's right. Yeah, you didn't realize there's more than one phase. We're looking at phase two now. What's phase two? So this will happen later in the future, but the first is hopefully to have a larger Tarpa Publications, which as you see here, it's just a tiny little annex. It's so tiny, and with this new building in the basement, we'll have a larger Tarpa warehouse, which at the moment is just simply two narrow aisles for all the Tarpa books and prayer book goods to be stored. It's not that big. So this will be an, a big upgrade. Also, one thing I'm really looking forward to is upgrading to a larger second meditation room, which is where I'm currently filming the majority of this video. Uh, at the moment, it could fit maybe 15 people uncomfortably. <laughs> We've used this for counting retreats, study programs, kids class, just any extra um, spiritual programs we'll, we'll kind of use this room for. So now, all right, I'm starting to wrap up this video here. Uh, <laughs> Keynes in New York is two hours away, more or less, from the city. And the majority of guests who come here for beginner silent retreats, finding peace weekend retreats, or just simply visiting here are coming from New York City. And we want people's experience here to be memorable. And I don't want to think about how many times people have decided not to come on a retreat because our on-site accommodation uh, was sold out. So. Uh, we need to fix this. And, and by we, I mean you. Uh, Giving Tuesday, I'm really sorry. Cheesy segue. Now Giving Tuesday is coming up and I want you to consider making a donation towards this new building project. Um, this building has arisen purely so far through the kindness of generous donors. It's not coming from anywhere else. And we want you to be part of it. So please consider Giving Tuesday as a incentive for you to make a donation towards this building. Our current goal for this year is to raise $750,000. We're almost reaching about $200,000 thus far. So we have about four hundred and fifty left to go. And this is just the end of this year. Next year, we're going to be doing a whole other campaign. So um, it's a big building and it, it does cost a lot. And we thank you so much for giving your time, attention, and monetary contributions toward this project. We greatly appreciate it. No donation is too small or too big. Um, if you want to um, check out any info or make a donation, go to kanapanewyork.org forward slash new dash building forward slash. Um, thank you so much. This has been my med talk. Um, until next time, take care.